So, uh, a plan. Well, apparently go to the slums is uh, what Jahira is suggesting and also what uh, the locals we talked to were suggesting. Uh, simple. First place I would like to visit is the Mithrist Inn. Uh -huh, if you wish. Actually, I want to go see these merchants here. Well, you look like the sort who has more than two gold pieces to rub together. Uh, I won't divulge my name. Just show me what you have, please, good sir. I know he has a... Uh, is it he? Well, at least he has ammunition, so we'll stock up on that. Um, bullets. By the way, stacks are much increased to the point where we basically won't have to worry about ammunition in any shape or form during the game. This is this was my intention. I don't want to manage ammunition. I where shall I display my skill and expertise? Yes, but I thought one of these guys had Welcome a to my humble establishment. Scroll case. Am I right? Yep. There we go. He also has quite a lot of spells, but uh, for now our money is very limited. And a scroll case will allow us to clean up our, advent our inventories. We can put all the scrolls in it. There we go. What? Every hamster has his day. Uh. Do we need to rest or could we just go on right away? Uh huh. I think I will. What do you want? Yes, out with it. Bah. What? Yeah, I think if we will rest. Wish. You can rest as much as you want in this game, except when you're on a timer, and you're rarely on a timer, so... Uh, resting restores all your spells and health, so... I am, it is done. It's a mechanic you can abuse, but... It's, uh, it makes the game a lot easier if you rest between each fight. Yeah, it's nice too. Who's this guy? You be looking about out of place, boy. What brings you above, y above your station? Found a gold mine? Whatever do you mean, sir? Look about you. An evil eye from every corner unless you be loaded with coinage. Ah, I see it. The subtle exclusion of those born into wealth. You've a good eye on you, old man. Do you belong here, then? I was kicked out of this place once or twice as a youth, for I found a vein of myth... myth... Now the bastards fawn over me, but horribly, all the while eyeing me purse. The life of the nouveau rich is a hard one. Why this? You're not rolling in the coin, boy? Trying to play with the high rollers? Uh, no, but I suspect that I can afford a room. Good for ye. Don't let the bastards look down their crooked noses at ye. What do you mean? Alright, he's just gonna repeat the same thing. Alright, thank you, sir. Uh huh. Hmm. That was kind of interesting, or not? Debutant Alicia. Stand where you're at, peasant. How dare you approach a debutant, Begar? My father should have you flogged. Count Clayman. My time is quick, so be brief, commoner. Why not just stop by the manor tonight? I could show you my collection of tunistic statuary. My parents would be delighted to come over. Thank you, Count. Oh, I don't see any reason to interrupt their plans. Why don't you come alone? If you would like, my lord. With the Countess away, you shall be most welcome at my at my map. Lol. Yes, it is done. Never had rats. No sir. That's the innkeeper. Is there a lot of interest that you might tell me? Interesting is going on, nothing of interest. Right, 
Let's see if he'll say anything more interesting if we buy him some drinks. We don't have a lot of money for drinks. Uh, there's a rival guild to the Shadow Thieves. They've been rec recruiting in mass numbers. But the Shadow Thieves are still larger and they should wipe them out if they try. Interesting. Never had rats. No sorry. Well, let's rest. We'll take uh, the cheapest room we can get for now. Rebecca. Please, seat yourselves whatever you wish. I must not tell you, sir. I shall be fired if Pugni catches me shirking. There are many more named NPCs in Baldur's Gate 2 than there are in uh, Baldur's Gate 1. When you go around cities in Baldur's Gate 1, everyone's pretty much either a nobleman or a commoner. Here you will see a lot more people with names who aren't quest givers, they just have unique dialogue. Worth reading. Stand where you're at, peasant. Why must this inn always be crowded with brainless debutants? Have you seen Alicia? I have seen her, yes. She's foolish to even be speaking with that shark, Clayland. He has a nose for idiot girls. He will tire of her company within a week and leave her heartbroken. He did the very same thing to me. The man is swine, leave me now. I need to arrange to have his wine mixed with the slop water. What, as I thought? Funny little intrigues. I take no pleasure in speaking to one as low as you. My time is quick, so be brief, commoner. Such a lovely specimen of the elven race you have there. Might she be available, hmm? I can speak for myself, human. I can assure you that I am not available, as you put it. Stand where you're at, peasant. Jahira getting asked around. Alright, well, enough mingling with the locals. There's some kind of exposition here. The science states this device was built to travel underwater. Strange concept as that might be. It's a primitive submarine. Ah yes, the city. With all its people and their accumulated wealth, yes. Harold and Mrs. Harold. Well, now, this is a bloody disappointment, isn't it? My wife and I come all the way from Trade Meat to see the circus, and now we can't even go in, be in because of some kind of problem. Outrageous! And the ride was so terribly bumpy and uncomfortable. I won't be able to sleep for a week, alas. Mind you, it wasn't a complete loss. There was that rather showy display of magic when that wizard blew his top early. That was rather invigorating, that was. Harold! How can you say such a thing? I was absolutely terrified. Well, what a bloody surprise. This from a woman who screams murder at the sight of a squirrel. We could have been struck by lightning or fire. It was horrendous. I really don't think he was aiming at us, dear. Nevertheless, I was mortified. Those poor men in black that he was fighting with. Such terrible violence. And now we have nothing to do but head home again. <sighs> Well, I'm not exactly looking forward to spending the whole ride cooped up with her now, am I? Harold! Another quip like that and you'll be making the ride alone. Yes, dear. People are talking about the event that just happened, of course. And here, there's of course a guy named Fergus in any game where Black Isle was, was involved. Uh, one way or another, you'll find people named Fergus, at least one. Because the founder of Black Isle is uh, Fergus Urquhart. No, no, no. <coughs> uh, yes? And this guy has a Khalid's voice set. Oh yeah, oh, uh, you startled me, please forgive me. Uh, what's the problem? The, the p -p problem? 
I was in the circus tent and I got out just in time. Just in time to save my life. <gasps> oh, it was t t terrible. Quit your whining and stop bothering me. I've got better things to do. I I'll try. Good b b business to you. Hey, Jahira, a new husband for you. He sounds just like a lead. Oh, please, pathfinding engine, make your way around this little boy. Thank you. Uh huh. Anyway, he said something about the circus tent. Let's the glory see what's going of on here. Hold, this tent has been closed off for your own safety, citizen. The circus has been closed until this matter is resolved. Why? What has occurred here? You are not exactly sure. There was no problem until a show was scheduled earlier in the morning. Apparently, the show began well enough. And then something occurred. Nobody has come out of the tent who went in for the show. And everyone we have sent in to investigate has not come out either. Foul magic is, no doubt, involved here. We are waiting for the cowed wizards to arrive. They will be able to solve this, I am sure. Yes, they just lost 16 to uh, Irenicus, but they might come at some point. Nobody at all has gotten out. Well, we have been told that one of the animal trainers darted out after the show began, but we have not been able to find him as of yet. Hmm, I can handle myself. Perhaps I can solve the problem here for you. Very well then, I'll not stop you if you wish to risk yourself, citizen. You were warned. It is no risk, not so long as we have swords and braveness to the brim of the, of the tall glass of goodness. Right, Boo? We should be careful, Zekold. There's no telling what is going on within if the city guard can handle it. Be prepared for anything, is what I always say. <sighs> to be honest, we don't have much motivation to do this quest right now, other than it's, it presents itself to us, and I know it's a good quest to do at our current level. I have no patience for cities. Our stay had best be a short one. My mama's still inside. They says she can't come out. What are you talking about, child? My mother went into the tent to see a show, but something happened and now nobody comes out. There's guards who won't let nobody in anymore too. But my mama's in there. I want my mama. That's a tough break, child. Too bad. I... I just want my mama. For a shame, Zeko, that you could speak to a child so. Have you no compassion for the helpless? Uh, it was... It's about time, Jahira, that you realize that yes. I do, in fact, have no compassion for the, what do you for want? the helpless. Anyway, 